I've worked on programs, uh, well, TV programs like Spaced, uh, Black Books, The IT Crowd, and film uh, shows like Scott Pilgrim, uh, The World's End, uh, Baby Driver, and most recently, The Kid Who Would Be King, which is Joe Cornish's new upcoming film. Everyone has a laptop that is capable of cutting a film and doing, you know, uh, doing various effects and finishing things and sound and, and, and what have you. Um, and I would say that's probably a very good way these days to try and get noticed is because it's so easy. I mean, you keep thinking, gosh, if we had this kind of kit when we were starting out. Um, but actually, although maybe there isn't as direct a line in as maybe there used to be, you know, going, starting at the bottom, working your way up, um, sometimes these days it's actually about trying your own things, getting involved in uh, other people's projects, you know, putting your sort of hand up, and volunteering to edit or, or, or whatever. Uh, because actually, if you make enough of a noise and people sort of see that you're kind of talented, sometimes, you know, that opportunity presents itself. And so maybe a little harder in the, than in the past, but there's still no, um, uh, you know, excuse or reason, I should say, for why good talent and uh, enthusiasm can't get you to wherever you want to go. just being given, you know, some opportunities that came up um, more or less out of luck, but actually, you know, being keen, being enthusiastic and kind of being ready for those, for those challenges. I mean, it was a series of coincidences that, you know, um, uh, led me to work with people that eventually led me to say someone like Edgar and then a more uh, opportunities which uh, allowed me to jump from TV to film. And these are things you don't plan. You don't go, right, next year I'm going to go and do Scott Pilgrim. You know, these things uh, just arise. And if, if, you know, if you're ready and they feel just as confident in you as you do in yourself, then actually, you know, they, they can sort of bring their own kind of rewards and allay to kind of slowly move up the ladder where then other opportunities kind of present themselves. You know, there are certain action scenes in Scott Pilgrim and, you know, even dialogue scenes in The World's End and even going somewhere far back as the IT crowd, you know, being able to um, get a whole room to uh, burst out in laughter, you know, for, for comedy, because comedy is very hard. You know, people think, you know, comedy is very hard to make people laugh. And, uh, you know, if, as an editor, because you're kind of responsible along obviously with the writing and acting but part of what you do is the timing uh, you know if you can um, if you're successful in gathering everyone else's efforts you know performers and writers um, then you know nothing's as satisfying as actually hearing a room respond to kind of your input to the overall experience and so there's always something good to get from those jobs. They're all my favourite. I mean, obviously, Baby Driver had the biggest kind of impact, um, but each film brings with it something a little bit different, a little bit challenging. And for me, because it's actually about, uh, you know, the challenges that come up with every project rather than one that has to be particular, either star-studded or, you know, big budget or anything like that. You know, every, everything has its challenges. And I think the where you feel satisfied in those things is actually having sort of, uh, you know, overcome those challenges and done a good job. And so in that respect, I feel happy about every job that I've done because one's managed to, to do what's, been, what's asked of one. I've always been a fan of the work of Stanley Kubrick and the Coen brothers. If I had my dream job, it probably would have been cutting, something like Barry Lyndon. I think it was my favourite Kubrick film. Um, and then, you know, the Coen brothers, although uh, very slim chance of working with the Coen brothers because of course they do all their own editing themselves. Um, but if there's a film along those lines that offers that kind of opportunity, I wouldn't be too happy to kind of jump at that kind of filmmaking.